Well, it was quite in incredible that uh, Alan Wood got up from that. That knee really caught, caught him right on the side of the jaw there. Referee has more power than he knew. Again, the right cross forearm on the way past and Wood visibly weakening at the moment. A flying tackle by the heavier man, but Wood caught him beautifully. Crotch hold. Can he get the slam in? See where Marty Jones' right hand is, making sure that the slam doesn't go. And he didn't go, and he caught the cross press on. Uh, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Quite elite. And again, Brian Crabtree with a headlock on the offender. Just under two minutes to go in the third. Brian Crabtree can sort that lot out. He has. And a public warning for Alan Wood. For not Ladies and gentlemen, public warning number one goes to Tiger Wood. And also a public warning <laughs> to Marty Jones. Yes, they both got one. Neither one of them. Public warning each, ladies and gentlemen. Neither of them releasing when told. So the referee decides to give them both a public warning. In the third round, and a double eight Nelson attempt by Alan Wood. But he'll never get rid of that. Not against Mary Jones. Just a minute left in the third. Perfectly legal back elbow. As long as he's still part of the same move. Double leg grab over for a Boston Crab. And Jones in trouble for the first time, really. 30 seconds. Alan Wood's got to make this count. Should have the strength to get him off all right. Can't see him giving from this one. Still 10 seconds for Wood to make it. Five seconds. And it's too late now. So Marty Jones, who was the Lancashire and Northern champion several times, he uh, won the British championship. And he was a British Championship finalist at the age of 10 years old and then only beaten by a 16 year old fella. So he has got one heck of a, an amateur record and he's turning out that he's not having a bad pro record either. Seconds away, round four. One, four, three to go. No score because it's a one full contest. One public warning each. And it's Jones versus Wood. Wood in the check trunks. And Wood giving away a stone and five pounds here to be exact. A flying tackle by Wood, but insufficient weight, I would imagine. Crutch hold Jones. And the slam. There it is. A follow down, an easy one with a cross press, but Wood manages to get out the first time. And Jones doesn't even try a second. Back elbow. Some neat forearm smashes gliding across Jones there.
The referee can't get him away. Adi Jones can. Again, the cross press. And Alan Wood pretty flaked out now. Both men a little bit tired. They've really been hard at it. Action packed. <laughs> Which one stamina is going to give out first? Alan Wood can come in as substitute and beat Marty Jones, who was actually up for the light heavyweight crown. And half the uh, feather in his cap. And Jones left leg hooked around that bottom rope. And again. Alan Wood going for it, toe hold, toe and ankle. And it's Jones clear out onto our table now. So <laughs> and it's uh, Alan Wood cornered there, posted. And a beautiful suplex there by Jones, following it up with a cross press and again getting a count of two, but that's all. Perfect bridge by Wood to see if Jones can break it. And a monkey climb, Jones over the top, taking Wood with him in a body scissors, beautifully done. Couple of minutes to go in the fourth. feet there but it's not doing wood too much good trying to get the toe and ankle but can't reach it again continuation after the break and it's Jones out this time again the far side what sort of a landing has he had he's getting counted and Jones again out the other side this time. And held back by a front row ringside seater. And he's going to have to do the same job again, I think. Three times Jones out now. The second and the final public warning goes to Tiger Wood. So a second and final public warning to Alan Wood there for continuing to push his man out of the ring before he could get back in. And Jones now bending the rules a little bit, and he gets a public warning too. And a public warning, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Marty Jones. So with 30 seconds to go in the fourth, and two public warnings each now, so they can't afford any more, either of them. 15 seconds. And just slowed up considerably now. They've been really laying it on, these two. Five seconds. So, Alan Wood really not wanting to go back to his corner one bit. Still angry. Jones coming forward too. It's going to be a tough job in this interval for the referee to separate them. Practically impossible to hear what they're beefing about, but there's certainly both of them beefing. Seconds away, round five. And finally, and Wood coming across at the bell of round five. So a 
backbreaker now, Wood. Right across the shoulder. Wood in trouble, for, uh, Jones in trouble from this. Unless he can slide down and get the double arm. He's trying for it. But he missed the double arm. Body check again. And a good forearm over the top of the body check this time by Wood. Two advertise. Oh, nice drop kick. And it's Wood out of the ring this time. Now, what sort of a landing has he had? It's a beautiful drop kick that sent him there. And out, he's out. He didn't make it back. So Marty Jones, the winner in round five by a KO. Just took him one minute, ten seconds of the round, the fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and ten seconds of round five, Tiger Wood failing to beat the count of ten. The winner, Marty Jones. And ladies and gentlemen, one for the loser, Alan Wood. And thank you, Martin Conroy. And with that knockout for Marty Jones in round five over Alan Wood, it's goodbye from all of us here at Bedworth Civic Hall. Have a good week. Till next week.